Living with sickle cell disease uh, has been very challenging. I was diagnosed at a year and a half, and once I was diagnosed, it seems as though I was sick all the time. I was constantly in pain. If it wasn't swelling in my arms, it was swelling in my legs. I always had issues, always in the hospital, if for weeks or for months. I remember when I was nine years old, I had a bad infection and I was in there for six months. Trying to live a normal life and facing um, this medical disease, you know, hospitalizations, trying to work a full-time job alongside that um, has been very challenging. I thank God that I had family around me, I had people around me, and helped me seek the doctor's help to get to the bottom of it, which is NIH, where the doctors knew what they were doing and were able to identify these things and provide me with the help that I needed. We heard a lot of discouraging um, thoughts about clinical trials, um, but we, my sister and I made up our minds that we would go in and listen to what the doctors had to say before we made a decision. Um, once we got to NIH, the doctors presented us with, you know, both sides of the equation, that there's a chance, there's a positive side to it, and then also a negative side where whatever they're testing could not work. And so the decision was ultimately up to us to make, um, you know, decide to go in. Um, we chose to go into clinical trials because we looked at it as uh, an opportunity to, if not help ourselves, help others. And so when the opportunity for a stem cell transplant was presented to me, I jumped at it because I went in looking at it that even if I was not free of sickle cell disease, that the doctors would learn something and be able to help others through that. Through NIH, I underwent a stem cell transplant in 2010, and I am sickle cell free now. Um, sickle cell has been in society for a long time, many, many years, and we're still suffering from it. And so a cure would be a relief to many. A cure would mean live, being able to live life with no pain, being able to live a productive life, being able to shake off the stigma that people have about sickle cell disease, being able to live fearlessly, live a normal life. That's all we all want at the end of the day. It's time to rewrite the story of sickle cell. Add your voice.